Not too shabby of a season last year for the Campbell Sabres. A 7-4 record and just one win away from reaching the state tournament. But to surpass last year's success, it's going to take a lot of work. After having a slew of players transfer out, the road back to Aloha Stadium just got a little bit tougher. But don't tell it to these guys. The ones that stayed are in it to win it. Dedicated to their community while trying to send a message to the rest of the state. Do not sleep on the Sabres. This is Campbell. And this is 16 in 16. With Campbell's field under construction, the Sabres are grinding away under the scorching sun at Eva Beach District Park. It's a physical and mental test for those lucky enough to wear the orange and black. And after months of preparation, Coach Omosa Omosa has been pleased with the progress. It has been uh, challenging, but yet has been real good in terms of the progress that we're making, our kids have been making since off season till now. And uh, so I'm very happy with that right now. Campbell loses some big studs on defense from last year, including safety Solomon Matautia, along with defensive lineman Josiah Mongeo and Tristan Ludiazo. Jump-starting the D this year is new defensive coordinator Ulima Afoa, along with linebackers Nick Kernigan and Tyson Tafai. We start with our linebacking core. Uh, we got Tyson Tafai, Nicholas Kernigan, uh, Walter Barty, um, and then on the line, we got guys like Itim Moangutsia, uh, who's coming back, so only going to be a junior. With them being on the team, it's just it's scary. It's just really scary because they're just three big guys and they're ready to eat, and they're not gonna they're not gonna slow down for nothing. So yeah, they're coming in full force. I think this year will be more like more disciplined, and our, right now we're working on being about the team, no selfish players, because Coach Musa is telling us like how we gotta be different, we gotta be together as one. The play is kind of difficult. It's getting late because we like last year we ran three five and it was all simple. This one's a, like a college defense and it's fast pace. I think work ethic. I mean, you know, of course, we love to have him at six two, six three, but you know, whatever God has given him is what He blessed us with. Work ethic. Such a great kid. Uh, he works very hard and uh, he does a pretty good. Pretty good job in being a role model for all of our kids. The key component on offense will be returning running back Terrell Johnson, who rushed for 931 yards and 10 touchdowns a year ago. He'll join a new Campbell QB as well, with St. Francis transfer Kavika Ulufale and last year's JV QB Siaosi Soto both leading the way, hoping to keep it steady under center. Siaosi has every day has improved uh, because he didn't come to us until track was done because he was running track. But... Um, the progress that he has made over the summer, our past league, has been tremendous and very positive. So again, um, he's very capable. He's got the talent to, to run what we have. Just a matter of see how, how far he can progress in uh, some of the things that we do. They're really good. I liked it and worked on my, my route running, my catching, and I just worked on being more aggressive and doing more moves and stuff. So it's pretty good. I'm trying to be more of a vocal leader. I mean, I mean, I haven't, I haven't been very vocal last year because I was only a junior and had a bunch of uh, seniors last year. So I'm just trying to get, be a better teammate and just be more vocal and just just um, feed off and just give all the energy to my underclassmen. He's going to have to do everything this year. I mean, basically, I mean, we're going to move him all over the place, not only get him to, to run the ball, but get him out. And we feel like he's... Uh, you know, one of a kind and not only a great running back, but also a guy that can catch the ball, can present some matchup for some people that we'll see. So kind of looking and moving him around. And of course, we're, we're building things around him. The Sabres lost more than half a dozen players who have transferred out. But despite the loss, the boys from Eva Beach say it will not rattle their mentality. It affects the team, but it's just, it just matters who's here right now. I mean, yeah, yeah, they're my they're my brothers, but... I mean, we got to just move on, like they left, but yeah, just work with the guys we got right now because these are our brothers too, so we got to help these guys and we just can't worry about it and let it get to us. Can the Sabres scratch their way to the top? Campbell begins their season August 7th, a road game versus Kahuku. Felipe Ojastro, ScoringLive.com.